Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. My name is Annette. I release videos covering a wide variety of topics, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and yeah, follow me for more fun content. So today it's all about shoes. I guess you can tell by the um, title what I'm doing today, but basically I have a nice collection of shoes, not too many. I try to streamline my shoes in a way that I have the basics, the blacks, the beiges, a few pop of color here, animal print, things that I'm definitely going to use over and over. I would say that I started collecting luxury shoes probably from 2013 and now it is 2018 and I have a decent collection. Maybe someday I would do a video and by decent I don't mean 50 or 100, I just mean a few stable pieces. My favorite shoe brand is Manolo Blahnik. A lot of people think it's Christian Louboutin, but it's actually not. I love Manolo Blahnik and they are my favorite shoe designer. And I have a couple of Christian Louboutins. I also have Saint Laurent. I have a pair of Jimmy Choo's. Anyway, I'm not talking about what I have really. I'm just discussing my um, shoes with you guys. So in that same light, when you're collecting shoes, you make mistakes every now and then. And my first mistake that I made was with my Christian Louboutin Socates in Peyton Leather nude color. I got those shoes in 2014 and I got them because I feel like they're a staple. Everyone needs them in their closet, right? It's something you can use over and over and over and over and over and over and over but I was reading reviews online and for some people it works they think that it's best to read reviews online for things like that and for some people it's helpful to review items online of course because it helps you you know understand your purchases also that's why I do videos right but in this instance it was totally not helpful because when I read the reviews and I think I read the reviews on Saks someone had said oh when you're buying a pair of Christian Louboutin go ahead and order one size up because the design of the Socade is done in such a way that you know which is actually correct there's a high chance that while you're walking your feet will slide to the front of your shoes so you want to create a little space in your shoes that was her reasoning I thought okay fine but at that point I already had one pair of Christian Louboutins and I'm a size 40 and I already got a pair of um, size 40 so reading that review I thought to get a pair of size 41 which was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life because what not only was the shoe uncomfortable because hello so Kate it was so big and it was difficult to walk in so I kept trying to tell myself over a period of three years that maybe I should keep this pair of shoes because I like them and I would try my best to walk in them and it was just a disaster each time and eventually I took a step back and I released a video talking about this where I decided to sell that pair of shoes last November and I sold it but in selling that pair of shoes, of course, I only got like half the price back because, you know, I've been using the shoe for a while, it was a bit scuffed, blah, blah, blah. But at least I was able to clear out that part of my closet. But obviously, clearing out that part of my closet created a void, if you will, because I no longer had my go-to patent, you know, Christian Louboutin pumps. I didn't have a nude pair of shoes that I would use all the time. The only other comparison pair that I had was my nude Manolo Blahnik Patra pumps, and those shoes are worn. So in doing all that as well, I started thinking about my brighter shower. What are my brighter colors? What am I going to wear? And it's an all-white affair. My friends are wearing all-white. I'm not wearing white. I'm getting to celebrate them um, that way. You know, they get to have a good time and feel a little bit of bridal. So I decided to buy a pair of new shoes for Stan Louboutins. That way, one, I can use them for my bridal shower, and two, they would fill the void in my closet that this previous pair that I had had, that I had had, that I had, um, you know, being that I sold it, created. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. First, I'm going to down my coffee because Saturday morning and Ray just made this cup of coffee for me and it's glorious. Perfect. So I got this from Neiman's. Now I don't have a Neiman's credit card. I tried to at some point, but the interest rate is too high. Also, I didn't want something that would prompt me to buy luxury pieces or luxury items when I don't really want to, if you understand what I'm saying. So I decided to stay away from them. But otherwise, I shop on Neiman's a lot. I shop online and I signed up for a membership program a while ago where I get free two-day shipping. So I ordered this not too long ago and it came right on time. I'm gonna open it now. Here. 
I haven't bought a new pair of Christian Louboutins in a long time. Maybe two years. Maybe two years. More paper. And ta-da. Goodbye. Now I like how the boxes are smaller. Honestly, back in the day, the boxes were so big. They were at least this big. Now they're small, they're more compact, and I really, really, really enjoy how cute they are, and they're just so much fun to look at, and just, you know, yeah. So, what do we have in here? Let's find out. I'm just gonna open it so you can see. You probably have an idea based on what I already said though, right? At least with regard to the color, return label and receipt, dust bag, Ooh. <sighs> here they are, Christian Louboutin apostrophe pumps. Now, the apostrophe pumps are sold exclusively at Neiman's. What differentiates them from the other Christian Louboutin pumps is the fact that the red starts peeping in from the corners. So you can see the little red from the corners, like an apostrophe, if you will. They only make this in black and beige slash nude, and I got this in, um, you know, nude. I also have the black as well. And size 40, brand new digs. Oh my god, I like I don't even want to try them on because I don't want to scuff them. Now it's pure leather, it's not patent leather, so the good side to that is the fact that it's gonna be easier to wear. The downside of that is signs of wear are gonna be more prevalent in leather shoes like this, or like in patent leather where it's kind of like rubbery, so you don't really see any signs of scuffing or anything. But in these shoes, the signs of wear are gonna be front and center. But otherwise, I really like them. I feel as though they are going to fill that void in my closet where I didn't have a go-to pair of beige slash nude shoes and they're also a bit darker. I feel like my other pumps were brighter and I think that's because this color is called nude while that color is beige. Whatever. Whatever. I don't want to try them on at all, but I will have to, so yeah. So these shoes are great. They are great. They're size 40. They're comfortable. I can say this because I have another pair just like this in the black. And that's my everyday, all day Christian Louboutin pumps when I'm going to work, when it's date night, when it's time for something fun, something casual. I always, always, always wear their shoes. So now I have the sister counterpart. So my dress for my bridal shower, if you remember, I did an unboxing of a self-portrait dress and it's blush, a little darker than the shade of blush that I have on right now. And I feel as though it's gonna go perfect with these shoes. It's gonna be perfect. And I almost wanna resole the shoes. I don't know, I have to think about them because a lot of people resole the shoes before they use them. That way they don't get scuffed. But I don't know. I I don't know, tell me what you think. I just, I, I don't know, I feel as though one, I doubt that I'm going to sell these shoes. And two, I feel as though when you have like a sole of the shoes, it affects the marketability. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. So we'll see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, but yeah, but let me know what you think with regard to that. So yeah, the shoes are so stunning. And I just want to like uh, put it on my face. <laughs> to get my makeup off. So that's it. Now, I recently just placed an order, finally, as you can see, for my wedding shoes, and my wedding shoes are now available. I will do an unboxing of that later, 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 later. But that's it for me. I'm not buying any pair of shoes this year. Did I buy any other pair of shoes this year? No. Yeah, I don't think I bought shoes this year, did I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Silly. I got those Chanel shoes. I got those Chanel shoes, and that was from my wish list. And then I'm wearing that for the rehearsal dinner, and then this is for the bridal shower and um, I have my wedding shoes and that's it. I'm not getting any more pair of shoes in 2018 and I'm done. I'm not deviating from my wish list and now I'm just gonna focus more on wedding, accessories and everything else that I wanna focus on. So yeah, they're so stunning guys. I can't stop looking at them. And I really like the, the fact that, you know, it provides a little sneak peek, you know, to the red bottoms if you will. 
and I'm all about exclusivity so knowing that this is exclusively sold at Neiman's it makes it even more of an exciting experience for me so I'm pretty excited about that pretty excited about this shoes. so what I'm probably gonna do is one of two things one I would do a video discussing my entire Christian Louboutin collection it's not a lot I have this, this new pair and I have the black apostrophe pumps and I have the animal print silk cape pumps and I have my black pigalis pumps and I also have my purple gal pumps that I refuse to sell and I haven't decided what I'm going to do with those shoes yet. I could put those off. But yeah, that's it for now. I think I have my core Louboutin collection unless something special happens like there's a special edition shoe that I just cannot stop thinking about. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with these shoes for a while. I'm done in the sense of I'm not buying anymore. I have a nice core collection and I'm just going to reach for these shoes whenever I need them and whenever I feel as though they'll be perfect for my outfit so yeah and then the second thing is I would do a comparison between apostrophe pumps and the other regular pumps so it could be the Socade or the Pigalis or the Pigal that way we can talk about comfort we can talk about sizing we can talk about style and everything else so watch out for that I'm not sure when I'll do that video but maybe sometime after the wedding or before you never know in the interim thank you so much for watching thanks for hanging out with me today if you're not subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button also be sure to follow me on Instagram my Instagram handle is it's Annette A and that's the same handle as my Twitter handle and I will catch you guys in my next video I love unboxing videos I do them not as often as I would like because you know you unbox and when you're buying but whenever I get a chance to it's just always 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 so much fun and I love to bring you guys along with me so thanks for watching today thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you guys in my next video thanks guys